Jesus after the demonstration. Okay. And it's even easier because I can tell you which ones you can find over which area of the store. Mm -hmm. So good morning, everyone. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing? Good. 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 My name is Shanu. I'm going to tell you something about the cheese and also about our farm. Mm -hmm. We specialize in a cheese called Gouda cheese. Can you say Gouda? Gouda. Very good. Mm -hmm. So in English, a lot of people say Gouda, but in Dutch, we say Gouda. So Gouda is a cheese recipe, and it means we used 48% of fat milk to make the cheese. That's what Gouda is. It doesn't mean it has to come from the city of Gouda. Actually, our cheese has come from uh, Katwoude, which is where our farmer, Hem de Willig, grew up. So you can see Hem de Willig over here. Right now, he is uh, approximately in his 70s, and uh, the little guy over here, his son, Bita, is our boss. So this is truly a family business. We have cow that cheeses made from cow milk, goat milk, and sheep milk. But I'm going to tell you everything about the traditional cow that cheese, which is the one uh, made from uh, cow milk. This one is a bit older. I can show you uh, what it looks like when it's young. So the traditional Gouda cheese is, like I said, made from cow milk, and we store it in the morning and pour the milk in the big container over there. Mm -hmm. wow. Then we heat the milk up to 29 degrees Celsius. It has to be 29 degrees Celsius for two liquids. For the rennet, which traditionally is an enzyme from a cow stomach, but nowadays we make this in the laboratorium, so um, it's not from an animal anymore. Uh, but because this is such an authentic cheese, we still use the traditional rennet. And it's also important for something called the cheese culture, which is a, a type of bacteria. And it's important for the smell and also for uh, the flavor of the cheese. When we add the rennet to the container with milk, the milk will become thick like pudding. It takes uh, approximately 30 minutes for the milk to get thick. Once the milk has become thick, we cut it with the rotating knives. And during this cutting process, we get two different products. Do you know what this is called? No? So the watery stuff is called the whey, and the stuff you can see on the bottom is what we call the curds. We get 90% whey and only 10% of the curds. And this matters because we don't use the whey to produce the cheese. We give this to the animals so it doesn't go to waste. And there is a legend about the whey that if you drink it, it will keep you young forever. Oh, no. Okay, I start I'm now. Already, I'm already 83 years old. Oh. <laughs> Can I try? Tell me up there. <laughs> so the stuff at the bottom is what we do need to make the cheese. And because we get such a small amount, we need 10 liters of milk to produce one cheese. One oh, liter okay. of cheese. Oh, wow. That's a lot, right? Yes. So we gather all the curds and we put it in a mold oh, like this one. Yeah. And maybe you can see the holes inside of the lid. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, because we want the weight to run out of it. Because we don't use that remember? So we close this with the curds, and then we put it in the cheese press. It takes two hours for the cheese to get pressed. And the mold, of course, gives it that round shape. After the cheese pressing, we put the cheese in a salt water bath over here. This contains 80% of water and 20% of salt. It's Shout out to Spencer Lacalier. And also for the preservation. Mm -hmm. After one day, we take the cheese out of the tub, Let it dry on the shelf. Okay, Spencer and Dito uh, Pokani sa Netherlands. Right now, uh, but you can find the cheeses in the store at the moment. So, when we let the cheese dry, we also uh, use a sponge and apply a liquid coating on top of the cheese. And this coating uh, allows you to keep this cheese and only this cheese for as long as one year. It's because this is a cheese that you can age yourself. So if we would cut this cheese right now, it's still a young cheese. A young cheese is one month old and has a natural flavor and a soft texture. A middle-aged cheese is six months old. It's a bit saltier and the texture is already a bit harder. And 
then we also have the mature cheese, which is a little bit like Parmesan, but Parmesan is Italian cheese, of course. Um, it's a drier cheese, um, usually a bit crumbly, and it's very salty. And a mature cheese has to be at least one year old. This cheese is three years old. And check this out. <laughs> and you can still eat this. So inside of the store you will find lots of cheeses. Don't be surprised if you see a cheese that looks like a sausage. Yeah. And make things more confusing, it even tastes like a sausage. But it's not. This is called smoked cheese. Um, we use uh, different kinds of cheese. We melt it and then we smoke it on oak wood. Um, we have a lot of different flavors, as you can tell. Fenugreek is a seed from India and it tastes like walnuts, but it's not walnuts. If you want to try the cheeses, we have the cow cheeses uh, over there. Those are the young cheeses. In the middle, you will find some special cheeses and the old cheeses. And all the way on the right, you will find the goat and smoked cheeses. Thank you so much. Here we go. Bili na kayo. Sempre <laughs> display. <laughs> Makano. Oh dear. Thank you, Thank you.